Ma. Who? The dinner is set. Okay. Thank you. <sighs> My diamond. The dinner is set. Let's go and have our meal. Have I distracted you from what you're doing? Hmm? What is the matter? Maury, it's quite unfortunate that when I privately talk an issue with you on what I want, you craftily keep up with what you want. I am tired of you making me the black sheep in my house. Our house, Desmond. My mom doesn't joke with my dad's meal. My mom usually makes my dad's meal, not making it the responsibility of my sisters. I want to prepare my husband's meal. He's my husband, my and only mine, she says. If the food is not made by my mom, my dad knows. I know you girls cook delicious meals. And I am proud of that because your husbands will glue to you for that. Why is my own different? Why? I am tired of hearing this every day. Desmond! In the morning, my mom. Noon, my mom. In the night, my mom! I am not from the woods for crying out loud. I also have a mom too. I have promised myself never to lay hands on you. You push me to the wall. I never did! Yes, Why is it good by all my loving heart for you? How I wish. I found my mom in you. Humble, caring. Heaven of love is all about her. God, God. Women are deep water, they say. But my mom. To my dad, it's an exception. Desmond, I am still the woman you saw the first day. I never saw my mom yell at my dad. Neither did I ever see my dad raise his hands on my mom. If they ever had a misunderstanding, then it wasn't pronounced. I never saw love is hurting. It is you that hurts me, Desmond. You. When I think about you, Remember that smile that you used to have. I remember the sweet, sweet hearts. Oh, that beautiful kisses. Remember that good old you. How did we get here? Come back, my 
my lover. Oh, oh na na. There is no justification for us to fail. We go through the darkness. Oh, I cry for me. Hello kids, let us pray. Our Father, bless us sanctify this food. Let us see the body and soul in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's eat. Mom, there's an empty seat here. This is not the typical us I know. I hope we get back to our family. You're right, old man. Everything will be all right. I'm still positive on it. Positive. Little by little, the crack is widening. Make much sense, Oluma. Adequate to pay attention. You need to be paid to the crack. Else, it will be so widening to fall apart. Adequate. Repair attention. You need to be paid to the crack. Else, it will widen to a fall apart. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> we love you, Mom. Yes, we love you. Desmond, Desmond, Desmond. You are always on my mind. The way you touch me. The way you kiss me. Your sweet electrifying touches is killing me softly. You are my everyday breath. Touch my heart. It's all about you. <sighs> Ma. 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 Sorry, Ma. Uh, Ma, are you okay? Is anything the matter? Let me be. I will be fine. Ma, I'm sorry, Ma. Ma, I want to inform you that the gas has finished. I said leave me alone! you today. Let's go. I don't have time for much talk. Do as it pleases you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Pain Giver. You call me Pain Giver. Samson! Samson! Yes, ma! Listen. Do not open this gate. Do you understand? Let me have the keys. This yes, man. Our guy is driving out. Give me the keys! Samson. Okay. 
get this key and open the gate. You are getting on my nerves. I kept telling myself I don't want to do it. You are pushing me beyond tolerance. Oga and Madam wants to put me in between themselves. You're slow, you need to learn how to type faster. Then work on my screen. If I to type directly the words of that lady we met at mom's salon, you will miss many. Oh, you mean that lady that talks a thousand words a minute? She doesn't give other persons opportunity to contribute to our discussions. She doesn't discuss what I say, she only commentary. Hi. Welcome back. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you? Very well. Dad, can you type a thousand words per minute? No. The lady who met at mom's alone talked a thousand words per minute. She talks on reservedly. So disgusted. Kids, I'm sorry about that meet with the lady at mom's salon. Okay? No. I will join you up. Mm. Let me change my dress. Welcome, darling. Thank you. Why did you take my kids to your salon again? Why, Maury? You are getting on my nerves. You are actually getting on my nerves on that. For crying out loud, kids are ours. Hmm? You are getting on my nerves. I'm not. I have told you I don't want my kids at your shop. They are paying their fees. <laughs> you won't enjoy what will happen the next time you repeat that. Solomon, Briska, what did the both of you say to your dad? Ma, I've made the ingredient ready as you said. The meat is ready too. Get back to the kitchen. I'm sorry, Ma. No! What did the both of you say to your dad? Nothing, Mom. Sincerely, nothing, Mom. Solomon, you're not used to lie. When did you start it? Mom, truly, I'm not painting words. I only asked Dad if he could type a thousand words per minute, like the lady we met at the salon that talked a thousand words per minute. Oh, <laughs> oh my world! Theresa, <laughs> Theresa, ah, see, I, I'm, I'm sorry, kids. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Choosing to learn the hard way, you will stop that your saloon business and take care of my kids, our kids. Desmond, 
why have you decided to give me her tonight? My care is my kids, not your salon. We are not dependent on your salon's contribution for our living. I cannot be home all day this month. In the morning, you set out to work every day. And you don't want me to do my work? Stop that sound business. I won't. I won't. This month. Come back, my lover. Can you accommodate your mother who you think is hurting? Yes. But it's hurting. It takes love to accommodate. But why do you ask? Mom, you are hurt. But if not for love, treat that well. The perfect smile will come again one day. I don't know why all I do goes wrong with him. God knows I try. Your dad is still my all right man. But I don't know why peace and love have gone away from me. I know how hurting you feel, Mom. I wish your dad would be the man I used to know. But his sweetness has been engulfed with a lot of pains he put me through. Keep your cool, mom. If only you can keep your cool. Patience and endurance. One day, more. The perfect smile will come back again. One day. <laughs> I find peace in you and your sister. We believe in you too, Mom. Everything will be all right. Forgive the imperfection in that. People see your dad as a clean man from the outside. but not with me as his wife. He makes me talk to the wall. I'm gripping in pains. surprised yes when did you come back to town yesterday I need to meet with you all right I'll make our time Desmond did you just say you make our time for me oh it has come to that eh don't take it that way I'll be with you soon Okay, if you say so.
humans are unpredictable. If you are not up there, where everyone looks up to you, what becomes of your picture in their mind? I love, but will not compromise my money factor that made me the man I am today. Will I be the same man to my love if what made me is no longer there? I will not hold love to the detriment of my money, wealth, and fame. Endless queue of love betrayers. So numerous that we begin to see love as the praise of Lucifer to God in heaven. You love and give free hand to your lover. Nurture to your taste and tomorrow becomes your nemesis. Knowing virtually every you start fighting you on your weakness. I cannot and will not die a love tragedy. No. The word love is making me grow cold with its unthinkable that spring off from its hidden caves. Love is beautiful, but money is awesome to me. I don't want to live my life to taste the bitter memories of love. The darkness in love is worse than physical blindness. Who can know it? Thank you. Learning is a continual process. Sometimes we do certain things unconditionally. Not knowing how hurting and irritating it feels to others. That's true. Fitness is next to godliness. That's true. I dislike the little environment. Okay. Take a look at where you are. How do you feel inside? Young boss. Young boss. Young boss. Mm. Nice meeting you after all these years. Yeah, my handsome. Yes, that. <laughs> you erased me off everything about you, Desmond. Why? Come on, Nora. I did not. Yes, you did. That I didn't work out between us doesn't mean we're enemies. We still belong to each other. I know you sure miss all my reflexes. But the way I turn you down and ride the house. <laughs> Still spoiling brats. <laughs> I don't want to hurt your feelings about the past. Many nights with Desmond on my mind. My pillow goes wet of the one that makes me hate all the good old times we had together. Fisca. Fisca. 
You look disturbed. What are you plunging about? I'm lost in my thoughts. What could that be? It's a deep pain. Confide in me. We can get over the line if we put our heads together. I don't want to be a single parent raised child. The case between mom and dad might degenerate. Single parent raised kid will pain. God forbid. I think there cannot be a cave in without a fault. We can't fold our hands and let things get worse. Let's be the lifeline to rekindle the love again. Thanks, please, Khan. Nora is back in town. Oh my God. Save me from another pain. From this naughty bitch. There is always a devil in her. She almost wrecked my marriage. And I popped a champagne thinking it's all over. When she traveled abroad. But here she is again. How sincere will my Desmond be again to me and our kids? I, I, I know for sure nothing comes between Desmond and his kids, but what about me? Out of sight was the medicine, but now at sight, I'm scared. Oh, I'm scared. I stared at her beautiful, devilish face with many thoughts running in my mind. I know within me some negative thoughts run in Desmond's mind. How do I manage the situation? How? How are you? Fine. But Dad, why have you taken to another home away from home? Good question. What? Maureen. 
What did you tell my kids about me? And what did they say I told them? Having another home away from home instead of his becoming. <laughs> Maureen. Maureen. Maureen! Desmond! Isn't it the truth? Huh? You are something else! Maureen, you yell at me, right? Desmond, you made me lose confidence in you. Keeping late nights, you come home at will. Why am I seeing another Desmond? Why? I see you. Don't try to pacify me. The fantasy of a deceptive woman is the doom of a man. Why crush me from the ecstasy of seventh heaven romantic sensation you made me accustomed to? Why? You are the boss of the house. So I leave the house for you. Why care about my whereabouts? Hey, Dad. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm okay. Ma, not like this. I will be fine. Yes, ma, you will be fine. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Your face is not looking bright. Bye, kids. Bye, Dad. Dad, Bye, please remember Dad. your promise. I will. But remember, my promise is not a debt. It's a debt. It's not a debt. And I said it's a debt. I said it's not a it's debt. It's a debt. Maureen, it's not your fault. Desmond, you are never wrong. It's only Maureen that is at the receiving end, right? Mom? Mom, why? Why what? Mom, you're on the high pitch. This one is provoking me! Who else will provoke you, Mom? Is it me? Oh. Oh. I'm so comfy. 
What is happening to me? What don't you think? Hmm? What don't I think? What I... Uh, uh, many issues. What I don't think. Yes, ma'am. What are you saying? <laughs> As you can see, the game has strength to my favor. <sighs> so it is my turn now to slash you. <laughs> are you seeing it? Are you seeing it too? <laughs> Your turn. Mm. I'm watching you. Be careful of the shot. The shot. I'm watching you. Oh. Did it hurt anyone? But you know it's not over yet. <laughs> Until it's over. <laughs> um. So this man, how is young boss? Solomon, <laughs> you know I have wonderful kids. I may wake up one day and my kids have sold me and my entire empire. Uh, um, this man, it's my turn to play. Talking about your children. It's your duty as a father to teach them Exactly how to do it. Right. Hello? Hello? Yeah. How are you, Kester? Fine, I'm worried I'm fine, and you? Mm. I'm not fine. Yes, that I am, I am living in pains. Your friend Desmond has turned my life around. He doesn't touch me anymore. He breezes in and, and, and go out. Anytime he likes, I... I don't know. It's okay, it's okay. Have you... I mean, how do you mean? Kester, my husband is not the person that I used to know anymore. He goes out anytime he likes these days. Kester, in fact, I believe he is cheating on me. Moon, calm down. Calm down. Have you checked the behaviors you put up that might that might be disgusting him? Listen, Kester, I know I have tried my best. I have done everything to please my husband, but nothing I do seems to be all right. Everything I do is wrong. I, I, I guess I can't. I guess I'll have to call you back.
So you now discuss me with your friends? No, 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 Desmond, please. It's not what you think. I'm very, I'm, I'm very sorry. She discusses me with my friends. Now she discusses me with her friends. Who knows if the next move will be for her to take me to social media? Desmond, it's not what you think. You have made me an alien. I'm begging you. I'm very, very sorry. Deep inside my heart. I'm so sorry. Don't Please. be sorry. Please. Because you know what you are doing. No, no, that's what I need me! How was lesson today? I felt the best of the offenses in the literature we studied today. I also felt it, Cynthia. I begin to wonder if the writer is writing from a personal experience or a tale. The impact is far from just a tale. How, how was lecture so far? The literature class was emotional. How do you mean? The literature class was about the tales of an orphan. It's life of a. Sometimes you wonder what's wrong. Some person have done to deserve the pain they go through in life. Priska, your question is life unfair. Deserve much analysis. I read an article on recognition and I think some things won't pass it through a life as a result of previous life doing. Andrew, that is your opinion. But for me, I don't believe in incarnation. I too, Sylvia. I don't believe in incarnation. If incarnation is reality, I mean that I'll be you incarnated. I don't like the use of incarnation. I'm concerned about this life again. Some are born with silver spoon. What about without the silver spoon? That becomes the uptown and downtown living. This is smart, my bro. <laughs> um, see this man. I am still counting on you for that contract you promised me. Ciao. Oh. I've told you not to worry. For the contracts. Every single paper involved, I'll put them on every table they need to be. I give you my word. Ah! This month! This month! See, this month. And that is why I always count on you. You are my very good friend. In fact, you are like a brother. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh, cheers. <laughs> hmm. Once again, thank you very much. I welcome you. So, how is your wife? Oh. Let's leave that for another day. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. <laughs> this month. Ma, the items are set. Okay. Desmond is sold to the outside world. Mori, I deserve some respect. What is it? What have I done? What did you tell this thing about me? I only spoke to Dixon because I know he is your close friend. So you discuss me with the outside world? I do my best to make sure everybody at home is happy. But my love and care is misjudged. This month isn't good, eh? What becomes of us tomorrow with this? I can't let go of that. I mean, you know it's everything sweet to me. Hmm. Mm. I see. Mm. 
I should have been better than this. Yes, I should have been better than this. Am I not? Yes, you are. I feel pain when I see you are no longer the person who I used to know. It also pains to see the paradise of love turn horizon. So, I have become a pain to my family. No, Dad. I never have pain to us. Far be it. Sorry I spoke to Dixon. Mom, don't worry, okay? Things will fall into the right shape, okay? Thank you. Come here. Thank you. Mom. Dad isn't cheerful. I see it in him. We are right, Oscar. I feel maybe because of the way Mom discovered him has affected him. Dad loves and cares. But Mom can't let little things linger on. There are things you ignore and it fades away. You are right. There are little things we give attention to and end up destructive without again. I'll be the last person to leave that lonely. He just has the blood in my veins. How can you say that is lonely when we are all together? Or is he locked out from anyone in the house? I should be better to him than I am. Perspective. Sorry, I kept you hungry. No, you didn't. Did you eat something? No. Mom, no. something breaks my heart. What do? How do you feel making that feel lonely? Where is this coming from? I feel it. You're not making him happy. Oh my God! What is happening here? Dad, I will only stand by you, Dad. Thank you. Kids, there's something I want to tell both of you now. Relation. Never discuss mom and dad outside again. Yes, dad. Thanks, dad. Good. The word is enough for the wives. Desmond. Desmond. You breathe in and out every day. For me, eh, Desmond? When? Where do you think I am going? <laughs> it's in your heart. Let it be there. Eh? It won't be this time. Maureen, you are getting on my nerves. This is how you made the kids believe in your negative attitude that I am bad. You have tagged me the dark horse. You are the saint. I am the Satan. Darling, 
care how you leave me lonely. You don't even touch me anymore. Except after much persuasion. Why face this one? Why? Keep it up, eh? Thanks, Dad. I'll keep putting in more to get better and better. You see, education is the bedrock of a better tomorrow. You can apply principles to better your tomorrow from your education. Hmm? Thanks, Dad. Son, what went wrong? You failed the whole exercise. Nothing went wrong, Dad. Nothing went wrong and you failed the whole exercise. Why? Is it that you are not paying attention to your teacher anymore? Can it be that you are busy discussing your mom and dad with that your friend I met the other day? There is problem somewhere, son. There is problem. Dad, my teacher said I should invite you to school with me. I wonder why he has to invite you. Because I never thought. Son, what is distracting your attention from your studies? Nothing should be more important to you now than you doing great in your education. All right, Dad. You make me happy when I see you doing great academically. It's an indicator that you are ready to be a problem solver. Things will be normal then. How will things be normal when you fail all the exercise? Positivity. Things will be fine. All right. Things will be normal. You can be better than this. Yes, darling. You can be better than this. Yes, we can be better than this. Dad. Yes. Let's talk. Okay. I need to get something off my chest. What is it this time? I just can't hate you. Why? Mari! Mari! What is it? Thank you, Mori. Thank you for making me look this way. You are the Holy One. <laughs> Desmond, must you drag me into any misunderstanding you have with your kids? <laughs> it's high time you stop seeing me as an instigator. I beg you, Desmond. If anything goes wrong, Mori is associated with it. God! You're causing my heart to bleed. You cost me on tongue pain. This month. When I think about you, I 
Yes. I don't know what is putting him off his concentration in his study. Very brilliant. But getting everything wrong all of a sudden is the reason I came to see you. Thank you. That shows your keen interest in the well being of my son and other kids in school. Yes. Thank you, sir. Solomon, what is the problem with you? I know it, and I did my exercise earlier, and I got it right, but I just feel like not getting it right. Excuse me? My mom is the assignment, and my dad is me. How do you know? That's the situation. You bluntly refuse to get it right, eh? Just as you bluntly refuse to show mom the perfect love. Enough. Enough, Solomon. I have an offer for you. If you teach my dad how to get it right with my mom, my dad built an estate with my name. I will give you 24 months free accommodation if you get the job done. I'm sorry, sir. You mean you discuss me with my son? No, sir. I didn't. Your dad is a good man. He loves your mom more than you can see or think of. Don't worry. Everything will be normal, okay? Dad. Yes. I've never seen you cry. Why? Dad is strong. Does it mean you have no tears? I have. I often see mom cry, and I feel her pains. I don't want to talk about your mom. Why don't you want to talk about your mom? Does it mean a wonderful hater? Where are all these coming from? Broken hearted mom and kids. Oh, please come, my daughter. Please come. I am not that negative picture you have in mind. I love you all so much, more than you can ever think of. I want the best for you and your brother in life. It pains me to see someone trying to make you hate me. My precious Priska. Never hate dad. That meant everything good for you. Dad? Yes? I have an uncertain issue with myself. Confide in me. What is it? I hate myself. I hate myself, Dad. I'm not at ease with myself, Dad. <sighs> I've been struggling with it over some time now. Dad. But the problem shared is a problem I have solved.
You are right, son. A problem shared is a problem half solved. Why do you hate yourself, son? What joy is there in living when I cause pain to those that show me love? Living in pain is killing the heart slowly. Managing emotional crisis is what makes you a strong man. Don't let your emotion rule you. Sometimes, our emotions make us vulnerable by the decisions we make out of sentiments. Yes, emotion is part of life and our living, but you have to put it under control in critical decision making. Hmm? Managing my emotional crisis is what makes me strong. Good. Good. How do I manage it is the issue. Your decisive heart does that. Dad, can you recall when last we ate together as a family? Uh, uh, not long. I am very busy and concerned about my business. Our business. I think there should be a balance between your business and your family. Uh, you are right, son. But there is need for my keen interest and concern in my business. How sweet will it be if you don't have the privileges you enjoy now? God forbid that. For God to forbid it, you have to forbid it too. You have to put earnest attention for the forbidding not to happen. Okay, Dad. I'm not hungry now. Did you hear her? Yes, sir. Let me get my food. Delicious meal. Really delicious. <laughs> Super chef. Mm. Thank you, Mom. Books, eh? Good afternoon, sir. Have a nice day. Bye, Dad. Bye, Dad. Yeah, bye. Oh, I. Ah. Uh, oh, I think I forgot something. You forgot nothing, Dad. I forgot something. It's nice I've not gone far. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Still contemplating what I forgot. Uh, I just let me just be going. Bye, sir.
Hold on, Tracy. I want to talk with you privately. Okay. Please, Kat, please excuse us. It's okay. You look good and beautiful. Thank you. You have never done what you did today. What? What naughty, hurting dressing code is this? If you want to go naked, you go outside the street and do that. Not here, okay? I'm sorry, young boss. I'm highly disappointed in you. I'm sorry, young boss. I saw you as a decent person, but you proved me wrong. No, please. I don't have to feed and protect an enemy that will fight me or my family member tomorrow. I'm sorry, young boss. Please forgive me. For that, you will be on this dress code till mom comes back. That will justify if you are right or wrong. I'm sorry, young boss. I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I saw the truth in your eyes. I'm and sorry. I'm going and change those clothes. I'm sorry. Why is Solomon? Ma, he went that way. So what school assignment is giving you so much thoughts? Well, ma'am, I've done my school assignment. Oh, you have? So what is wrong with you? It's you, ma'am. Me? How dare? I've been thinking of how you heard it right and where did it go wrong with that? Where did the sweet love give in that pains and tears take over the center stage? Desmond, your dad was always a nice man. He's still nice and loving. Not minding the storm all. Mom, we have action and counter reaction. Can you figure out where you have gone wrong? If we start correction processes from ourselves, the other party will greatly see to our self judgment and rightly get back to shape. <laughs> oh, God of peace. Where did I go wrong? Where? I know dad doesn't like shouting. Often we have heard at him. What tasty feels? Have you stopped? Love? Emotions? Right and wrong? Swallow your pride, man. Even if you are not wrong, take the blame. Frankly, mom, that will take anything from you. I love names of cities in America. What America are you talking about? There's the South America or the North America? No, 
I mean USA, United States of America. Okay. I love Las Vegas. I love New York and I love Miami. No, I love Los Angeles. I know. Hey, babies. Hey. You guys study USA cities and abbreviations? Yes, mom. Oh. Mom, which city do you love most in USA? Los Angeles. LA. The state of California. <laughs> Hi, kids. Hey. Welcome, Dad. Thank you. Hey, baby. Oh. Welcome, dear. Thanks, Eddie. <laughs> uh, Food is on the dining. Uh, um, I am not eating now. Dad, today is Saturday. Are you taking us out? I ought to, but I'm engaged. Thank you, dear. I got a new novel for you. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Dad. You are welcome. Just hold on, let me get this for you, right? Police. It means Minnesota. No, it means Minneapolis. Minnesota. Minneapolis. Minnesota. Minneapolis. Dad, what is MA? Dad, I thought Priska MN is Minneapolis. It means Minnesota. Yeah, it's Minnesota. You talk about United States of America, city and abbreviation. Geography is very important for you to know your world. I even have a geography dictionary. Dad, so geography has a dictionary? Yes. You had a means called from MN. Is your color from Minnesota? MN. Oh, hey, uh, never mind you, Dad. This is this is this is. Oh, okay. I remember the smile. That we used to have. Hello, Mrs. Santinella. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, who am I speaking with? 
so you don't recognize my voice, yeah? I'm sorry. Pardon me. It's me, Chris Kadesmond's daughter. Right, dear. How are you? Not fine. Why do you like to play a second fiddle role on my dad's leg? You're not good enough to be my stepmom. You hear me right? The good one is my mom. You're a sidekick to my dad. He never spent his valuable time with you. No. Why does mom won't do that? I look at you as a smart chick. But you, you keep losing value day in, day out. You feel lonely some night, wishing Desmond was around you. Don't deny it. I know it for sure. The longer you stick to my dad, the lesser your glamour. The details are my favorite. Pluck a flower in the morning and check it out in the evening. That is the life of a woman. <laughs> Priska, you look frightened. Are you okay? I perceive a bust up here soon. You need to make favor. What favor, Priska? Instruct Samson not to open the gate for anyone. Is that all? Yes. Consider it then. Samson! Samson! Don't box. How long will it take you to answer my call? I'm sorry. Don't box. You better be. Don't open the gate for anyone. I hope you got me right. Yes, sir. Good. Knocking fell on the deaf ear. I'm not deaf. And who are you looking for? Let me in. To where? Don't allow me to run wild on you. Let me in now. I can't, madam. Oh, God. <sighs> Let me in. I can't, madam. Let me in. To, to where? Let me hmm? in. To where? Let me in. To where? Don't get her. Go inside this house. No, 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 no. Excuse me, Nora. Don't excuse me. I need to meet with Priska, your daughter, and then I'll clear my mind. Nora, why this rage? I need to meet her. I need to talk with that Priska of yours. Hey, you are overstepping bounds. Nobody comes between me and my family. 
I see. Desmond, you lie. Samson, open the gates. Open it! Krista! Is it fun to know? Why scream my name on the two here? Repeat what you told me on the phone. Baby, what did you say to her? I told her the truth. What truth? I asked her why she was playing a second fiddle role in my dad's life. I told her that she was not good enough to be my stepmom. Who told you that? Dad, it's your scheming. You have evil genius kids. Tesmond. You're silent, right? It's not your fault. I loosened up for you to take on due advantage of me. It's not your fault. No, I didn't. I feel bad seeing you shed tears, beautiful aunt Nella. I feel your pain being cheated. Samson, what are you still standing there for? Okay. Go back to your duty post! Sorry, sir. Hey, aunt Nella. Have not to be with my dad. I'm about to come alive. <laughs> Nice to be home again. Oh, lovely for you. Absolutely, sweetie. I wasn't complete without the both of you. Oh, mm. I know it wasn't easy for you alone. We missed you so much, darling. I missed you both <laughs> more and more. Mm. How are you? <laughs> My big boy. <laughs> so nice to be home again. Come on, let's go in. Uh, babe, yeah. our luggage is still inside the boat. Don't worry, let's go in. I'll, I'll come back and keep them. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, 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 oh. When I think about you Oh my god! Julian! This month oh. Big thing <laughs> This month <laughs> My man, welcome my man Please have a seat Thank you Welcome Please sit See you Your baby? Yes Oh my god <laughs> Solomon, how are you? How are you? Let's go so big. Thank you. You can see that again. <laughs> ah, Priska, be careful with the baby so he doesn't fall, okay? Priska is not a big girl. Please give her. Ah, ah, please, oh. She is still a little girl, huh? Tracy. Tracy. Get us drinks. And get the dining table set. Welcome. Thank you. As a family, I'm a yeah. <laughs> How was your business trip? It went well. I followed the same procedure you laid down for me on my previous contract. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm happy to see you stand as a man today. You see, <clears throat> immediately they mobilized me. Work commences. I've done the necessary prepared documentations. You see, this month, 
you are magical to my now found other side of life. Thank you awesomely. Thank you very much. What are friends for if I withhold the little help I have? You see, there is no little in the much you've given to me. Both connections and recommendations. Don't mention. I will keep mentioning them. I will keep mentioning them. See this man. Sometimes the angle position affects our actions on things. I will feel so guilty if I refuse to tell you the truth. That means I am not a good friend. Yes. Yes. What is it? This man. What is love? What is infatuation? If I break her loving soul for me, our seventh heaven feel of love is gone. This month, don't destroy your paradise. Dixon, leave my presence. This month. This month. I said, leave my presence now! What is the problem? Dixon just spoils my mood. What did he do? Dixon meddled into my love life. He deserves a serious warning. Cheer up, sweetheart. I am here with you. No dull moments for me, okay? Oh, Glozo. How is he? <laughs> Handsome. Always full of lovely smiles. Glozo is fine. He's inside. Juliet, I'm so happy for you. Look at you. So full of life. Especially with the birth of your son. <laughs> Maureen. I am a fulfilled woman now, having my own child. You might not know how hurting, devastating, frustrating and pinching the heart of a woman in need of her own child looks like. It is beyond mere words. Every home has their own challenges. You're right. If it's hot in the heart, then tears in the eyes. Do you know how often I cry behind closed doors? And my husband keeps telling me, do not worry, you will cross the line in joy. And today, blossom is my joy. Oh. And I thank God for my husband. In the midst of my crisis, he has been a source of my joy, mm. hope, and faith to carry on. Mm. I pretend outside, but I can't pretend inside as the inside tells the truth. I've cried and cried many times. Though I keep the secrets away from my kids. Okay. How do you mean? Laura has stolen my husband from me. Now he breezes in and dashes out. Materially, we, we lack nothing. But our affection is gone. Marie, you have to apply wisdom. And God will help us. Amen. <laughs> Just like my husband said to me, I am saying to you now, you will cross the line in joy. <sighs> Amen. <laughs> Drink up. <laughs>
father and son. Sweetie, are you jealous? <laughs> I am not. Thank you very much for being with me. For being my backbone. See, you really decorated my heart with love. In dark times, you gave me light not to give up. Oh. Your precious words one step forward. Thank you very much. Dixon, if I am to give you a name, I'll call you Peace. Because you've given me peace. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> Keep your hypocritical welcome to yourself, you ungrateful, disgruntled element. Nora, you are in my house. <laughs> Is this a house? Huh? Look, let it be the last time that you will meddle into my affairs. I'm Nora. I'm a good person. I forgive you. The next time this repeats, it will be talking to the wrong person at the wrong place and at the wrong time. How dare you? How dare you speak to my husband in such manner? In his home! Look, I have heard enough of your rant. You good for nothing homebreaker. That was then. This is now. And I've not missed my word. Let your husband stop sticking his nose in my affairs. I would not forgive him the next time. Okay? Nora, I never mentioned you in my conversation with Desmond. Now, Nora, leave my compound. This minute. Leave my compound this minute. <laughs> Dear me, Nora. This should be the last time you come into this compound uninvited. Because the next time you try to break this rule, you might not walk out consciously. How dare you? You think you're, you're living a better life because you were married? Huh? Yes, my dear Nora. Look at my husband. He is bucking our sun blossom in a typical Nigeria Igbo woman's cultural way. Mm. My, my loving husband does the house chores and he is committed to his home. <laughs> what a sweet and honey kiss from my husband. I love you, baby. Desmond, you brought this upon yourself. Even weakly rouse at you, Desmond. Can someone wake me up if I'm dreaming? Ha! Ah! Desmond, you've left your guard. You stood so low for Dixon to trample on, on you. Imagine the effrontery. I guess you can take the humiliation with a pinch of salt. Huh? Take it. Desmond, what do you want? What do you want? You are not looking cheerful. What is it? What are we up to? I spent my precious time to make you happy. 
It's all about yourself. Just when I'm not missing words. You only care about your family. I'm your side chick. You waste my life because you pay my bills. I'm the point of your family's analysis. You never reacted to your family's slight on me. This one, I took it with a pinch of salt. I'm not a wood. I feel pain. I feel pain this month. It's not the way you think it. You never gave me any atom of value. The way you ignored me the other time. Man, that was bad. Yes, this one, I love you. But love is reciprocal. Why talk like this, Nora? This is unlike you. See, what happened the other day was just another rainy day without shelter. You were drenched in the rain. I was lost in what transpired. It took me time trying to fathom things out. You gave me a cold feet, and I think it for good. This month we are friends. Whenever you need me, I'll be there. But as friends, I'm not lovers. Where did all this creep in? You have nothing to lose. I need no veil in my life. I'm writing a shown on the wall that there is no positives. Of which you have to do. Nora, I hate to see you shed tears. Let me be desperate. Leave me to my tears and pains. I still love you, Desmond. But as, as, as friends. Goodness, Lord me. Nora. You gave me much more than you can imagine. Hug me this month. Hug me, kiss me, and go. Just go. You take this too fast, sweetie. I don't need any shadow cast on my tomorrow anymore. I am never your tomorrow's shadow. Just let me be. I took a retreat and made reflections this past day. This month, it hasn't been easy for me. I don't have to live with a veil. I don't want to be a minor to anyone. No, not with me, Nora. Desmond, I don't have anything against you. Neither do I have anything negative against your family. We are friends. I will be there anytime you need me as a friend. Likewise, you should be there anytime I need you. Desmond, I never meant to hurt you or make you feel bad. But I know you will. Sweetheart, are you okay? This month. Honey, I am sorry. You are my diamond. My sweetness. Sweetheart, you are my
my angel. You mean the world to me. I don't want to see you shed tears again. You are truly my angel. I will never let you go. I'm happy you didn't walk away. Thank you. I remember the 